Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode eight, the finale of Reacher season two. We still have no idea where Swan is. Dixon and O'Donnell have been captured, which has forced Reacher to turn himself in. But of course, we know he's still got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. So let's see what happens next. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you come to the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes to react to the entire episode. Get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote what movies to react to each month. We got month Q&As behind scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you are going to support the channel but guys at the end of the day really appreciate it enjoy this reaction at least leave a like drop a comment subscribe if you're not already with that all said in LOA let's go ahead and hop into episode 8 Flyboy here we go <laughs> surveillance photos don't do you justice I'm so glad we're finally getting these two face to face oh fuck you him ready. Yeah, what did you find out? Climb on. <sighs> no. No. All right, let's go. You are in charge. Damn, man. I know they want him alive so they can do their shtick, but like they were all locked and loaded. Must have got a call from one of your pals on the force. There's only one body down at the coroner's office, and it. Oh. We both know you can't shoot me till you find her. Right. I can't shoot you. Oh. <laughs> Sit down. We're gonna talk. I don't want to leave anything for ballistics. Dig that slug out of him. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Sarcastic till the end. Ugh. Two. One. Two. One. Oh! God damn! Whoo! Perimeter guards neutralized. What's your ETA? Three minutes out. Ooh, let's go. Forgot about that team he got called in. I had this whole thing planned out. We get paid, let some time go by, and then quietly retired. Then your boy Swan started sniffing around and fucked my well thought out plan. <sighs> um... Like a Times Square. But <gasps> well, that's okay, because now we use Swan to sign off on the paperwork. If anybody else comes poking around, it looks like he did the deal and took the money and ran. Hey, at least he straight up just admitted that all of that was on them and not him. Where is she? You seem upset. You're too <clears throat> stubborn for your own fucking good. I offered to cut Swan in. Where is he? Your buddy? Mm, he's, he's here. He's cut in, isn't he? I see him. I'm so worried about what they've actually done to him. Yep, that's what I thought. See, I didn't need all of it with the framing. Oh my so God. And his iris to scan when he logged in and out of certain parts of the building. That is, um. Had to be a hero. Did you teach him that? Is this your fault? <sighs> This reunion's over. I got a meeting with a man that's gonna give me $65 million. Load those two on a chopper and then come back for this asshole. Oh no. At least I think at this point it's pretty rock solid that no one in the one tenth was dirty in the end. That mean makes Reacher right in the end. His faith is well placed, even though everybody else casts their doubts. Yes, let's go. Where we dropping, boys? Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, I hope Neely can get to them in time or shoot this bird down before it can take off. Leave anything behind, go flush this. Go flush this. Oh, dude, fuck you. Find Neely's father, pick him up. That ought to flush her out of the woodwork. What do you think? I just really, really hate loose ends. 
Robert Patrick's so good. Like, he can play someone like the most morally like balanced person ever with John Doggett and then play just such a sycophantic ass fuck like this guy or Peacemaker's father and God knows what else what. Burn him the hell out of here. We don't want any witnesses when we leave. Oh, great song choice. I can't help but think of uh, The Matrix when I hear this song, though. I thought I told you kids to stay the hell away from here. Oh, it's it's not the kids. I'm coming you for the last time. Get back in your car. Get out of here before I kick your ass. <laughs> okay, boss, just let me finish my Number one, granddad. fuck is going on? <laughs> I fucking love Neely, dude. Oh! That was clean. Oh. Hell yeah. Like a rock star. Jefferson Airplane? Why no Hendrix? I'm a swan. Hendrix is overrated. Oh. How much ammo you got? Not enough to cover your slow ass if I'm running out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Yeah, not the best of scenarios, but got to make do with what you got. Open the back doors. Yes, open the back doors. That reaction from Langstrom was great. Oh, good deal. Man, I kind of feel bad that I doubted anybody at this point. Look at that little maneuver from O'Donnell. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I'm so nervous. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. <laughs> that is terrifying. Come on, I don't know. I don't know what can happen right now. Ooh, ooh. Let's go, pulling it out of his arm to get that swing in. You done you lost. Or we're gonna find out the hard way if I can land it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. Alright, let's fuck this dude up. No, 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 no. Yes! Let the poor man fly. Ooh, 
God damn. Get fucked. That he does, or he should. Oh, we're gonna get that pan. Are we gonna get to see his mangled ass body on the ground like everybody else? Yes, we do. Ooh, right on a rock. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. He got to see his defeat and know he lost, and then ponder that the entire way down. I'll take it. I'll take that. Excellent. Langston's already here. Oh, you have no idea what you're about. <laughs> oh! You're not Langston. No shit. Oh, Must be some mistake. I don't know any of you people. You killed our friends. I mean, not you directly, but... I didn't kill your friends. I didn't even know them. But I know you. You don't care how many people die so long as you get your finder's fee. Oh, arrest me and get it over with. Yeah, that's not what we're here for, buddy. I don't fire the weapons. I'm the middleman. It's, it's just business. You think that makes it better? Yes, I do. The base mindset that a person has to embrace to actually pull the trigger... Watch every just... one of them. Oh. Okay. I'll take that. Yes, that, that's what I thought was going to happen initially, but it made it there. It made it there. Oh my god. That poor rug. Are they going to blow up the barn? Or just take the missiles in? Hey man, I didn't kill anyone, and I didn't have anything to do with those missiles. I only threw the chopper. I was just doing my job. What's your excuse? Uh, I was just going to show them how to implement the chips. I had no idea what they were all going to be used for. I call bullshit on that. Get out of here. Both of you. Oh, we spared some people at least, I guess. Or they're going to blow up that chopper and test the rocket. See if it even worked. Neely's locking it up. Yep. Oh my god. That is that is fucked up, yeah. but wait till they're over the river. That's that ridge. You fucked with the wrong people, dude. Well wait for it. Yep. Did exactly what they said it would. I guess Little Wing works. And they are going to take it. Sorry, but Senator Lavoy was clear. No one can ever know what really happened. Can't oh my you, my God. Underestimated you guys. Didn't think we'd take it this far. Didn't think you'd wait this long. Maybe they just really wanted to see me shoot those assholes down. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I figured Lavoy was a kind yeah. of guy that would cover his ass. That's why I didn't just call Lavoy. I also called Omar Kareem at Homeland. Oh! Get fucked! Bringing back our boys with Homeland! Got them pretty close. Is government ever efficient? <laughs> Fair. Never, never think Reacher is your pawn. You piece of shit. Almost. <laughs> it's always great when somebody unexpectedly answers the phone and it's Reacher. Oh, one more thing. Where's the money? What money? It's going into his retirement fund or to the loved ones of the... The one tenth. <laughs> Looks like you had a rough night. <laughs> you have no idea. What are we gonna do with sixty-five million simoleons? You gotta use I love that. Some of the pain simoleons.
No. Oh. Millions of dollars earmarked for my kids. It can't be for my brother. He died recently. Oh. Take care of the spot. Got you. Send us a postcard. Man, that warms my heart, man. Hey, do we know someone named Swan or a dog named Maisie? I don't think so. Why? Oh. Mr. Neely, I'm Connie Bumbery from Chicago Home Health. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? You'd have felt funny if I just put cash in your account. You won't take it away from your father. Mm. He's good for the rest of his life. <laughs> Whatever he needs. There's more than a bit left over for you. I could tell you you're a good friend, Reacher. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. What the world's scariest Santa Claus put under my tree this year? I didn't give you a penny. I put a shitload in your kids' names. Credit Aww. union around the corner from your house. It'll cover private school tuition, college, trade school. From the looks of it, the defense lawyers they'll eventually need. <laughs> <laughs> now you only have to take the sleazy adjacent jobs you want to take. I'm uh, speechless. That's a first. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of jobs, you can quit yours. I started a Delaware LLC in your name, fully funded. Go hang your own shingle. Oh. Yourself. Oh, she got her startup. I completely forgot about that. What about you, big dog? I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> Jesus. You gotta be fucking. I mean, There's a part what do I expect? That thinks that you're the only one out of us that's got it all figured out. I wouldn't go that far. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I actually miss Swan's guitar playing right now. Mm. So, this is it. It's our last night together. We should take another picture. Yeah, we should. Oh, but that, oh, damn. Though, that's, that's sad. Where they were to where they are, just the four of them. I thought you'd gone. I did. Got you a present. It's a toothbrush. And a Clark bar, probably. Nope. Just a toothbrush. Now you can actually get yourself something with the money. Oh, she got it so he Please didn't have to. You deserve it. Do it for me. Okay. There's something else you can do. Name it. Come home with me. I really want you to meet my parents. Okay. I'm fucking with you. Oh, <laughs> he was so confused. Before this meeting's adjourned, I think this particular item needs one last going over. I second that motion. But I saw Donald out front and I told him that I'd share a cab with him to the airport, so I've only got him. This might take more than a minute. <laughs> That's not what O'Donnell said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snarky little shit. This is what you bought yourself. A bus pass. That's a trailways pass. I can ride the bus anywhere in the country for a year. Let's go. I'm not as comfortable with this arrangement as I thought I was. Years without seeing each other, never speaking, getting together only when we're being shot at. We need to get better at staying in touch. Is that understood? Yes, Master Sergeant. No. One more thing. You refer to these special investigators as your team, your soldiers, even your friends. But you know we're more than that, right? <laughs> and Reacher said nothing. <laughs> The reaction to the couple behind him. Where are you headed? No idea. Ah, oh, dude, what an awesome conclusion. No one was dirty. Reacher was correct in the end. The doubt was all within the team, within us, in our hearts. But Reacher knew what is what. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think that just goes to show how strong his instincts truly are. And all of the evidence... Everything was screaming the opposite of what he believed. But in the end, he's the one that's been vindicated. 
which honestly is kind of awesome. I liked seeing that, though I didn't like seeing what happened to Swan. My God, I knew, I, I knew, I figured as much that he was, he was no longer alive. You know, we had not seen him even once in any of the present day stuff. I was like, there's no way he's alive, especially if he's not dirty. The only way he would be alive is if he was skirting along with uh, their plans. Like I said, all they needed was his hand and hell. They didn't even need the whole hand. They just needed the finger they needed for the scanners and his eye, and that's all they kept. That is messed up. And then after everything started going south, he just said, flush it. <sighs> Robert Patrick really does play such a wide range of characters and it never fails to surprise me every time he plays like a nasty character like this i'm always just kind of caught off guard by it even if i was introduced to him as like you know the t-1000 and whatnot that was more of like a logistical soulless machine driven villain obviously it didn't have any of that malice behind it at its core and then next you know i knew him from years of of X-Files, so like that was like one of the more morally upstanding characters he's ever played. So like it always just kind of I just I always get just straight up whiplash because from that excitement from seeing him and then just the sheer nastiness of some of his characters, dude. And not, don't forget Kogashuko from Double Dragon. I don't know, I, even if he got a quick death. He had the entire realization of his fall. Even the events leading up to that, the slow impending release of his captors as his men drop one by one. There was plenty of time for it to marinate in his, in his mind that his time was ticking and it was about to be his turn. I'm a little more satisfied with our big bad going out in this one. No, not to say that in season one it wasn't well-deserved either or set up or anything like that. I just, I don't know if he had enough time or wherewithal to really ponder his failure like I needed. But this one, I think Langston definitely had that opportunity to <laughs> realize he had fucked with the wrong people, man. And every step of the way, Reacher had an answer to every one of his attempts. You know, and then it became the whole crew. Then they worked together to bring down A.M., and on top of that, hell, they even foresaw the senator's betrayal as well, which honestly, I was kind of, I guess like part of me was kind of wondering if he was truly going to let it go. You know, what he said was very altruistic. And I honestly, maybe in my naiveness, I did want to believe him that he would stand by it, that he's going to do exactly what he did and stand by Reacher and all that. But I guess there was a little bit of that shadow of a doubt in the back of my mind if he's actually going to let anyone go that knows his involvement and what he had done and what was going to happen if any of this did get out they foresaw that and that brought us all the way back to that meeting with homeland when he went to check out his contacts from joe and brought them in on the loop he kept that end of his deal he dropped a lot of bodies along the way but he told them once i had something to give you i'll give it to you give it to him he did it really feels like even when reacher doesn't have things in control everything's gonna fall into place one way or the other whether it be a contingency plan or just sheer luck at times you know they got the money they got the missiles hell they even got to prove whether or not the missiles even worked by letting the last two people that they were like, hey, get out of here, you guys. You're, you're fine. You're just a doctor and a guy who, you, you're just the driver. You didn't do anything. Get out of here. Get out before I change my mind. <sighs> that was so goddamn cold, but I don't put it past them. Speaking of cold, them just unloading on AM after his speech on, I don't want to pull the trigger. I just want to be the in-between. Like that absolves him of any involvement of the lives lost at the exchange of the things that he's dealing out god is like i don't want to be the one to pull the trigger it's like well you're standing in front of four people have no issue pulling that trigger and pull that trigger they did turn that man into swiss cheese and of course after he was out of the picture they took the money reacher distributed it amongst the families of the fallen all of the one tenth and their loved ones neely's father and then gave each of one of them a little piece of the pie. Hell, that moment when O'Donnell realized that he gave all that money to his kids and he was gonna have to compromise his morals for a buck, you, you, there's that tear that rolled down his eye of genuine thankfulness. And then, of course, he funded 
uh, the whole little nonprofit thing that he and Dixon had talked about when they were over at Atlantic City, when she was talking about what she would want to do. She would want to go in and audit people and hold these, these organizations accountable for the misuse of government funds and not putting them where they need to be. Uh, I just like, ah, oh, it was just such a really cool thing. And then at the end of the day, he was just going to spend that money on a toothbrush. But his team was not going to let him get away with just that. He, he needed a reward. So in the end, he did get himself something, reluctantly so, but he did. His own little reward. And that's pretty much a free pass for a whole year to take a bus wherever he wants to go. It's just a beautiful, beautiful little wrap up to this. And I, I do hope that we see more, maybe more of this team in subsequent seasons, maybe not as like a major part. Like Neely said, he needs to get better at staying in touch. You know, imagine he's gonna reach out for help every time something comes up, but that's kind of part of the problem that Neely posed there was that you're only, we only see you when something goes wrong or we need to pull the trigger or we need to get involved in some action. We're more than just friends, a unit, all this other thing, you know, she's implying without use of the word that they are family. And I think he acknowledges that. And I, he maybe he's going to come to terms from that, but I don't know. He's very much rooted in his lifestyle. But uh, part of me would like to, because the whole thing was about them, their families, setting roots and keeping in touch. They all knew pretty much what all of them were doing up until that point. It was really just Reacher that was out of the loop. And it was really about him trying to, about them trying to get some strings on the man you know, and get a lock in on him and let him know that he's part of their family no matter where he is. And sometimes it would be nice if he just checks in to just to check in and not for a favor or when shit hits the fan. Like at the end of the day, it was such a nice season, man. I really, really enjoyed the overall arc of this whole thing. I, I do think it did start to feel like it meandered just a little bit, a little bit of a slower build than the first season. Obviously, we talked about this before. It didn't have that hominess of it, that rustic, like, intimate feeling of him kind of being in this small town. You know, it was much larger scale. So it had a little bit of that charm that I didn't quite feel. But I think a lot of the, the team made up for some of that elements and gave us a different kind of charm and a different kind of interaction that was just as playful in a different kind of way. But I do hope at least maybe in the next season, maybe we can take it down to something a little more smaller scale. This was like international. It was a much larger thing than just this, this counterfeiting ring in a small town in Georgia. Obviously that was linked internationally to like South America and the people that were buying and utilizing and exchanging in that that currency. In the first season I never really felt like that that scope interfered with the 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 hominess of the the setting. Whereas this felt very much so ingrained in it. You know, we're in these big cities, we're it, going from location to location. We went from Colorado, we went to New York, we went to New Jersey, we went to went to all these different places and all this stuff, all these more uh, urban settings, you know, so it had a little bit of a different feel. So I hope we kind of, I would like maybe, maybe a middle ground or even just kind of like in season three, if we kind of do something similar to Margrave, I don't want it to do like the same thing every season. I do want it to feel new, feel fresh every season. And this definitely did that. I don't know. I'd like something a little smaller scale, a little more intimate. Hell, take it dark, make it, in, make, give us like a serial killer or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what book they're basing it on. Again, I don't really know anything about these books either, so I'm learning as we go. But if there's anything like that, I think that'd be a nice, fun change of pace. You know, we had our small town, you know, crime thing going on. We had this international, like, uh, terrorist shit going on in this one. Like, bring it home and and do something like, uh, I don't know, like borderline thriller or horror-ish. I think that could be fun if there is a, a way to bring that around. But solid solid season but guys what did you all think how do you feel about how this season wrapped up how do you feel about the season as a whole sound off the comments let me know your thoughts down below we'll carry into the conversation after the video hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did leave a like drop a comment subscribe if you're not already remember if you want to see the following three reaction you can check it out over on patreon or if you got a memorable channel get you access as well and speaking of before we go I want to shout out our channel legends manny share ryan karen your course gone melito robert anguiano jeffrey hell jake and trail eric official casey wood jojo and russell crockett thank you guys so much for your continued support but that's it for this video guys and i'll see you all in the next one take care everybody